Welcome courageous soul. Welcome tender spirit. Welcome tired person. All are welcome here and we see you and we are so thankful that you have chosen to spend this time with us. Today, my prayer for you would be that you would receive what it is that you are seeking today, that the door that you've been knocking on would be opened and all that you've been asking for would be presented to you and you would be open to receiving all those perfect and wonderful gifts. In this next few minutes, I want us to become aware of just how much of a body we are. I know that can sound kind of weird, but I think some of us forget. We get all up in our minds and we're thinking and figuring and pondering and we spend a lot of time doing that. A lot of energy expanded all up in the mind. And there's nothing wrong with that. But it's not where the answer lies that you so desperately seek. The answer will not be found in your mind. It will not be found in information out there. Hmm. My prayer for you today is that you would be so bold as to stop, to stay, and to know that that which you are seeking already exists and it is inside of you. And I pray that my voice, I pray that my voice and the frequencies that we are creating in this space would help you to remember who you are, help you to remember why it is that you are here and help you to remember what it is that you came to experience. My prayer is that you would awaken to your God self, the reality of the experience that you are having, that you are a spark of that divine some call it divine intelligence or God or source, love. But that you are it and you are experiencing yourself coming out of separation. Hmm. Waking up to knowing that you are I am, that you are who you have been thirsting for. You are who you have been hungering for. You are the one that you have been knocking at the door for. It's always been you, glorious you. And so today my prayer would be that we would lean into the most scary place of all. And that is that place of silence. We'll practice it today. It's a powerful thing to practice silence and to allow that voice deep within, not from the mind, but from the belly to be heard. It's always speaking. I remember one time I had a, hmm, I had a, uh, a visual during a sound bowl meditation and it was Jesus knocking at the door of our hearts. And what Jesus 
was saying to me in this vision was that it, this Jesus, this love source wasn't knocking from the outside trying to get in. That the source of love, Jesus, the Buddha, Christ, was inside knocking to be allowed <laughs> to be in mm, relationship with all of the others. <laughs> That Christ consciousness that dwells within each one of us has been knocking from the inside to be able to come on out and play with us. And not just in our minds, not just in our hearts, but to play with us as physical beings. This Christ taking on incarnate form and then playing with all the other Christs taking on incarnate form. I know, it's a lot, right? Hmm. Maybe you would allow yourself a smile right now. Hmm. There's so much to be said for welcoming the body to the party. <laughs> I know I'm on that journey. Yeah. Pema Chodron says, moving in the direction of nothing to hold on to is so daring. Mm. I kind of feel like that that's what silence is. It's a place of holding on to nothing. It's free falling. But where you will land, where you will land is in your body. You're free falling from your mind, down through your heart and landing in your body. Glory, glory, hallelujah. That Christ in you is awakening. That Christ in you thirsts for a body. Mm. And so today, that's what we're going to practice. We're gonna practice that art of holding on to nothing. We'll just be silent and I will include a little bit of frequency with the sound bowls, just a little bit. And what I encourage you to do in this one minute is to take your thumb and your first finger and make an O. Take your other thumb and first finger and make an O and interlock those and then you'll have all of your other fingers that you can interlace and if you would lay them just below your belly button this is the mudra of epiphany and if you would lay them on your belly button for this bit of time that you are allowing yourself to hold on to nothing lean in and land in your body. Just allow yourself to experience that. And in the meantime, while you are doing this very uncomfortable thing of allowing silence or near silence, become aware of the breath. Become aware of the breath that is coming in through your nose and out the mouth. And so for the first couple of breaths, let's do this together and then I'll be silent. Breathe. 
breathe in through your nose. One, two, three, four. Now hold your breath. One, two, three, four. Try to hold your breath for just a little bit longer. And now release the breath. One, two, three, four. Very nice. Let's do that one more time. Breathe in through your nose. One, two, three, four. Hold on. One, two, three, four. Try to hold on just a little bit longer. One, two, three, four, and release the breath. One, two, three, four. So now for just about a minute, I am going to welcome you into the silence. If you feel your thoughts start to, to move here and there, just observe them like they're clouds in the sky floating by or fish in a tank just floating by. Become aware of the breath again, in through the nose and out through the mouth, gently. And if you are thinking, just become aware that you are thinking, but you, you don't have to hang on the thoughts. You don't have to listen to them. They can be like background music or background noise. It takes time to get used to what it feels like to be in your body. To become aware of what the body is feeling, what the body is sensing. It's a courageous thing indeed to awaken and stay in your body. And so we end with this. The door has been opened. You've been knocking and the door has been opened. You've been asking and seeking and the answer is there. Allow yourself to remember Allow yourself to receive the truth. Allow yourself to awaken to who you are. Why you're here and what it is that you came to experience. 
Allow that truth to bubble up from your belly. It'll come on up through your belly. Perhaps in the next couple of days you would practice Perhaps in the next couple of days you would practice this quiet silence, this leaning and holding on to nothing. This paring down of all of the noise, all of the distraction, and just allow yourself one minute at a time to become accustomed to silence. You are brave indeed. My hope is that you have received some encouragement, some direction, some affirmation, confirmation that you would know that you have been seen, you've been heard, you have been accounted for, you are vital, you are important here. And we are so glad that you've joined us. And in this last little bit of time we have together, if you would be so kind as to wrap your own arms around yourself and offer yourself a hug and then also receive that hug with gratitude. Peace be with you. Peace be in you. Peace be all around you. May you be led by peace. And may you wake up and remember that you are the frequency of peace.